Hi, in this video, I will do an unboxing and a review of this one Wi Fi pan and tilt security camera. Now, this is a standalone security camera, so all you need to do is to connect to a Wi Fi router and it should work fine. You don't need a DVR box uh, for this to work, so it's very handy if you are renting. Um, and uh, if you live in an apartment, then you don't need to do any drillings. So this is a perfect camera. Now let's see what's inside the box. Oh, so good. It also come with a um, an SD card, memory card. So there is a camera in here. So that's everything inside the box. This is the camera itself. So the camera can turn and it can also tilt up and down. Now there is also a microphone and, and a speakers over here, loudspeakers, so you can talk to the camera and you can also listen uh, at the same time. So at the back here there is an antenna. Now if we turn around, there is a, um, an Ethernet port, a micro SD card slot, and a USB charging port right here at the back. This camera is suitable for indoor use only, as it is not waterproof. Now inside this box, we will take a look. So there are some uh, cables and other accessories. So here is an Ethernet cables. Now these Ethernet cables allow you to uh, connect directly to the Wi-Fi router. So here is the Wi-Fi router, so we can connect directly using the Ethernet cables, connecting to one of the ports at the back here of your Wi-Fi router, and this will allow you to have a direct uh, internet connections. This is optional, so you don't need to, uh, to use it. If you decide to use Wi-Fi, you can. And this cable just plug uh, to the back of this uh, orange uh, Ethernet pot right here. So they got the cables. Then there is a uh, USB um, charging cables. So I'll open it up to see how long it is here. So that's the cable right there. So that's the USB cables. So I'm just gonna put it here so it's nice and neat. Then you got the charger adapter. So here's the charger adapter inside the box. And that's where we plug the cables into the charger and into the uh, camera. Now there is an option to use this um, wall mounting and hinges. So this wall mountain allow you to um, put it on the ceiling or onto the wall. So there is a knob you can adjust. And this will allow us to, uh, so you can mount it onto the wall. And, and from here we can also um, adjust accordingly. And there are some wall hinges that comes along. There's also a small pin in here inside this uh, package. Uh, this will um, assume the hinge will allow you to reset. So there is a reset button on the side here to do reset the camera. So in, in a um, when you have a problem with the camera, you can always uh, also use the pin to reset your uh, Wi-Fi camera. Okay, so here's everything inside the box layer on the table for you. Now you can see there is also a Kingmax SD card. It is 8 gigabyte. So this camera can support up to 64 gigabytes, so you can actually record quite a lot of um, videos. And here is an English uh, instructions. Now when buying a camera, it is important that you get a good uh, clear instructions, because um, with the correct instruction, it always helps um, for you to uh, set up the camera. So you can see, it's so getting to know your pan and tilt Wi-Fi camera. Okay, let's have a look at the quality of the build and the features of this uh, camera.
Now when holding this uh, camera, I feel it is a bit heavy, so it just indicates to me it has some quality built inside this camera. A very um, low quality product normally comes very light, so I generally like um, the product that is a bit heavy. And you can have your feel, your finger feel around uh, the casing of the camera. It is uh, nice and smooth and you can feel it is strong, not flimsy. So when looking around at the the build on the outside, you can tell um, if it's if it's a good quality product. It is nice and smooth. Okay, now this uh, camera uses an SD card to store the video recording. You can place the SD card uh, at the back here. Okay, and there is no cloud, uh, so all the store all the data is stored into this SD card. Now there is an option for you to um, upload the, the video, or the recording, and the images into your uh, webmail account. So in case if the camera gets um, stolen or if someone comes to the house and they take the camera away, you always still have evidence that is uploaded to your uh, webmail account. Okay, as I mentioned this earlier, this is a Wi-Fi camera, so there's no cables, you don't need to use any cables. The only cables that you need to use is the power cables, which um, uh, drives the cameras. Now, and all you need to do is to connect to a Wi-Fi, so you need to set up uh, the Wi-Fi connections. And once that is uh, set up, it will um, be able to um, connect to your Wi-Fi and you can use the internet to control the camera. There is an option of the Ethernet cables that we can use if the Wi-Fi is weak. So if you have a problem with Wi-Fi, you can always use um, Ethernet cable as a backup option. Now, this camera can be uh, remotely controlled, so you can turn the cameras around. So let's say you don't want to install four or five cameras at your house. You can use um, your mobile phone, uh, for instance, and you can uh, uh, use it remotely and you can turn uh, the camera horizontal or vertical. So when you pan horizontal, it can pan up to 355 degrees. And if you are using, uh, um, if you want to um, move it up and down, you can tilt it up and down to 105 degrees. And you can use an app uh, to do this. This camera comes at 1080 pixels, so that is around two megapixels. At the end of this video, I will try to show you a sample footage, so you can ex uh, expect to see what you can expect from the video qualities. I will show you a footage of uh, daytime and nighttime recording, and then you can see what it looks like. Another great feature about this camera is the audio uh, features. It has a two-way audio communications. So what this means is that it has a microphone and a loudspeakers so with the microphone if someone comes into your house you can actually listen to what they say you can easily identify their voices by gender uh, by the accent by the age so you can you can tell where they're coming from give you an idea uh, where they're coming from uh, what age they are and the voice so even if you don't actually um, capture them on the videos you can actually uh, capture the audios and hear what they're saying and they might give you a very good hint uh, where they're going to go or what they do so it's very handy with the audios uh, features so let's uh, test out the top button so if we push and we test it out testing so just tap on that and I'll push and then talk testing now there is that echo because I'm so close to the camera so it makes a, an echo noise bouncing back and forth between my phone and the camera but you can uh, use the push button to, uh, to talk to the camera with a loudspeaker built in, there is also a built in sign, and this can be triggered upon a motion detection. So, uh, if it is uh, properly configured, once the camera detects a motion, then it will um, make a loud uh, siren sound suitable for, for the phone to raise the alarm. Now, you can see the alarm is raised. Now, in terms of choosing a color uh, for your cameras, it comes only in white colors, and I find most home have. Um, kind of a, a neutral white uh, background or the, the walls and the ceilings they're mostly just white so it is uh, f perfectly blending with the walls color uh, it's got white even if you have a uh, creamy color um, the white color sh should be able to uh, blend quite well now with the wall mounting there is a swirl at the back here you can swirl it on like so and 
And that's it. So we can always adjust the camera and then screw it on. And here we can tighten this knob. And that's it. Yeah, so it can mount on against the wall like this. Now with this plug coming to the standard side, I can also mount it onto a tripod. Now you can follow the assistant's voice to uh, set up to uh, the Wi-Fi. Now first, swipe down and we want to connect it as one Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go into my Wi-Fi settings and choose SWAN. You can see it's right here, SWAN. And then I will connect it as one Wi-Fi. And here, I can connect to a Wi-Fi. So you can connect to either either 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. So this uh with this camera here, you can use both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So I'll choose the normal one, and I'll put my Wi-Fi password. When we hear the Wi-Fi connection succeeded, we'll tap on next. Name such as uh, kitchen or living room. Button and there it is. You can see the camera now. Once you're in here, it's very easy to use. Uh, at the bottom here, there's a talk button push to, uh, to talk. And once you talk, it will uh, make a, a noise over here through the loudspeaker on the side. There is a uh, PTZ which allow you to uh, control like by panning horizontal or tilted up and down. And you can also use the playback uh, button. Now at the top here, there are a few things that you can do. You can tap on this button here to uh, start live view or posting it. Or you can take a photo. So I will start my live view and then tap on the camera to uh, take a photo. It is stored to this uh, location here on the SD card. And you can uh, record the video. So tap on the recording video to record. You can also tap on this one here to change fluent or clear. So that's clear and that's fluent on my phone. Then there is this uh, color you can choose color, black and white, or auto. And this is a full screen mode. Now, in full screen mode, it is a little bit different. Now, also at the top here, you can see it's showing a motion icon. That means it's detecting motion at the moment and it is uh, recording. And here you can also control. The panning of the camera so you can see this button here you can uh, pan up or make it tilt up you can see on my phone here here we will pan it sideways go on the other way so what I like about this is that when you are panning, it's really smooth. It doesn't uh, lag. Uh, sometimes uh, certain cameras it lags, and it can make it very difficult for you to uh, choose the right position. So as soon as you let go of the button, the, uh, the camera actually is pointing to somewhere else. So, and you can see that's how far it goes. So we have to go back. Now this uh, two function over here on the side is auto and mark, so you can mark a location. And then you can give it a, a name and then tap on OK. So that's the location one. And if we uh, pan it this way and up a little bit, so I'll, I'll zoom up a little bit. And we can give this location two, so I'll mark it. Tap on OK. Now you can see if I tap on garden, it will automatically uh, go to that position where we have marked previously. And if I tap on location two, it will automatically. Uh, go and zoom in that location, it will pan to that location immediately. The auto function basically is just move the camera around and around and around until you're happy at a certain location that you can tap on it to pause. Now up here is the zoom button, so if you want to zoom into full screen. And in full screen mode, there are some additional functions. Uh, you can see the time at the top. Uh, there is a um, control over here, you can control. So there it is, so you can see we can control. 
Okay, so where is over here? It actually you can see the antenna itself. So I'm just going to move the antenna to the side. And down here, you also have the speaker. So it's basically like the push button to talk. Now you can control this camera using an app on an iOS device such as an iPad, iPhone, or if you're using an Android device, you can download it from Play Store. So here is an app on iOS. So either on your phone or on your iPad, you can uh, download it. This is what it looks like. So you just simply need to go into the apps, app stores and install the app called Always Safe. Once it is installed, you can open and edit. So before you uh, go ahead and set up your camera, I recommend that you download the app first. Just make uh, things a lot easier. So here I have download on um, Android device. So it's pretty much the same layout. Now we can turn the siren on uh, on the mobile device. So we go into the device settings and turn on alarm sound. Once the camera detects movement or motion, the siren will turn on. You can also set the alarm sound schedule. So uh, with the schedule, so you can uh, tap on the edit button here and you can say, okay, during which time it is suitable for so the phone to raise the alarm. Now you can see the alarm is raised. It is not extremely loud because of the size of the speakers. It's not very loud, but at least it lets the burglar know that you know, you're being recorded. So they may uh, turn away. You can turn off the alarm by simply tap on the off button right there. So in the alarm schedule, we can uh, choose uh, when to uh, use the alarm. This is ideal because during uh, the time that you're at home, you don't want the alarm to be keep raising. So you can see here, uh, it's raising because we're uh, turning on the alarm cell. So I'm just going to turn it off at the moment. And that's app, you can also set email notifications. However, you first need to uh, set up the email settings, such as uh, the server. You need to set up the server username and password. And this will allow the app to send up emails and notification. Now you can also sketch, uh, set schedules. Schedules allow you to uh, control when notification is uh, sent out. Sharing is another great feature allowing you to share the camera with other people such as your friends or your families and they can join you uh, and look at the camera and uh, they can help you monitor the house while you are not able to. There are also other settings such as uh, setting the video quality so you can set the resolution, the frame rate and uh, other settings. Again here and here you can see you can also uh, set schedules uh, when the device uh, should start recording. So if you're at home you don't want to, uh, the, the camera to record your activities at home. So you only set the schedules to record when you're not at home. So there are a lot of uh, settings in here. Now you can see this uh, sample email uh, I'm showing you so that whenever an event is raised, it's sent to my email. So in here you can set it to attach a photos or attach a videos. So that is something that you can uh, set in the email notification settings. So here is the quality of the photos that is being sent to the email account. So it will be sent as an attachment and here is a video. So you can uh, download the videos and uh, watch the videos. So whenever a, uh, a notification is raised, it will attach uh, to the email and send to your email as soon as uh, an event is, has, occur has occurred. Okay, here is a footage of the camera during the day. As you can see, this is during the day. And here is a footage uh, of the camera. Uh, during night time, it uses uh, infrared. So during the daytime and night time, it's very clear.